Hi, this is Guy, and welcome to the Invicta unboxing. Looks like we have to open the box yet, and I have to sing my unboxing song. Hey, hey, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Do you have an Invicta watch for me? I think, if I remember correctly. This is a Venom Hybrid, model number 34604, yellow clamshell case, and well wrapped. In a plastic bag, beside being wrapped. Look at all those diamonds. I think it's 1.07 carats. And an all highly polished bracelet and bezel. Still has the tag on it. Excellent. I always write the model number on the back of those tags and then attach it to the extra links when I take out the links for sizing. So then I know which links, all the different links, which one they go to. Tip from Tone. Uh-huh. Unwrap the back wrap. Nice and tight clasp. Ooh look at that high polish. One side. And the other. Yeah, I usually don't pull that off till after I size it. So I've got that on well today. That paper usually slips off, but it must be attached to the sticky. And I pull on this till I find the edge. There it goes. Oop. I'm having difficulty because I'm so excited. There it goes. Definitely biggest diamond piece I've ever owned. Besides being a little more stubborn. You don't want to see my hands. There it goes. And it's off. Still has the plastic on the back, but it says 
Love this case and cradle design, always has been my favorite. But the main feature is the style. Sometimes they do the subdials and mother of pearl, I guess. This time they did all diamonds everywhere except for the dial rings and those are high polished also. It's a Z60 movement. Got the day of the week there. 30 minute timer. Day of the month of course. 4 o'clock. And the high polished blue bezel. Oops, what do I have on my wrist? Oh, that's my Aquaman sub six. Very nice as well. I do believe this will be my new favorite for a while. Normally I have to take out about five links on the average Invicta bracelet. We shall see. High polish all around. Not a limited edition. One beautiful watch. Thank you.